think、uh, I agree on the low volatility. If if the euro existed in 1985 and you can try to reconstruct it using other exchange rates, you would see that the volatility today in the euro dollar is the same as it was in 1985. So it's at 1985 year low volatility. And I think the number one reason for this low volatility is because central banks try to manipulate the markets, and then you have as well the presidents, like President Trump, also trying to manipulate the market, or not manipulating, but steering the market the way they want to, by, for example, tweeting saying that the Federal Reserve needs to cut interest rates, or for example, in the case that we clearly seen in in、uh, in in the case of crude oil, trying to sort of force the price to go to a certain direction. So there's a lot of those factors influencing. There's not like the old classic style where, you know, there wouldn't be that one central bank would do something and they would stick to it. Now as well, there's so much information bombarding people. All the central banks want to be open and transparent, but I think that obviously creates more stable markets. But the question is if the markets should be should be these quiet. And、um, it's a bit difficult to say what's going to happen, but if we can see less intervention from politicians and central bankers, then that will definitely be something that can move the markets a bit more.、Um, but but the thing is this: for example, if the markets are artificially held high or low, eventually the market will react, and when it reacts, it's going to react with a lot of volatility. So for anybody trading there, I think we just need to be patient、uh, until volatility comes back. I think yes, but maybe just in the short term, they might buy here. They maybe lift the currency for a day or two. But I think in the longer run, we're still gonna see euro versus the dollar closer to one o eight by the end of the year, possibly. So I still think the dollar is gonna gain, because what happened here for a long time is that、uh, you you just had the ECB cutting interest rates and doing QE, and then of course the Federal Reserve joined in and cut interest rates as well. But now it looks like neither the ECB or the Federal Reserve is going to do any changes anytime soon. So what happens now if economic growth goes higher again, as stock markets are projecting? Well, if that would be the case, then most likely the Federal Reserve is going to be the first bank to maybe look to raise interest rates again. So I think from that perspective, now that it's neutral between the Federal Reserve and the Fed,、uh, sorry, yes, ECB and the Fed. If anything, that divergence may increase again. You might actually see、uh, the dollar gain on the back of that. So in the long run, I don't think this is a levels to buy. I still think the dollar can continue to gain.、Uh, no, I don't think so. I think if we would have a hung parliament, the, the pound will probably start to、uh, weaken again. The only thing I think that happened lately is is that we avoided the No Deal Brexit. That scenario was avoided, and that's why the 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 pound moved upwards. Now, if the Tories get some sort of majority, I still think that we'll go push through Brexit, and then maybe the pound will gain a little bit more.、Um, but if we have a situation where there's a hung parliament, it, it can be volatility-wise very very、uh, radical. I can take you tell you this though. Like if I speak with people that I know trading the markets, also with my own clients and so on, nobody really knows, but everybody sort of remembers what happened with the Brexit referendum.、Uh, if the viewers don't remember, you might remember that the pound was weakening ahead of the referendum, and then it strengthened a lot ahead of the referendum, and then it collapsed. Right, so the market went down strongly, up strongly, and then down strongly. And I think a lot of people they're looking at the markets right now, and they say they don't want to participate. They don't want to be the person that gets stopped out out of the position.、Uh, so I don't see too much interest rate、uh, interest to trade the pound right now, and people rather just wait. You know, it's just、uh, three more weeks or so, two weeks and a few days, and then this is gonna be over. And then after that, they might be trading the pound.